Whether you're looking for a gift for a friend who really likes Disney, or you're looking for a gift for yourself because you really like Disney, we've got you covered with a Disney gift guide. And if you guys stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you how to enter a giveaway so that you can win one of the items on this list. Hello and welcome to the Queendom, I'm Sarah Ingle, and today we're going over the Disney gift guide. It's honestly kind of a little bit more Disney princess gift guide. I think there are some things on here that aren't Disney princess. Maybe it might actually all, yeah, there's at least, I can think of at least two things off the top of my head. This is meant not for little kids who like Disney. I've got a lot of things on this. I've, I've narrowed it down, but still it's a lot. So we're just gonna jump right on into it. I'll have links to everything below so that you can find them and either get them for yourself or get them for somebody that you really like because it better be something you really like because they're all really good. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna show you guys is something I found at Box Lunch. It's a little tangled hat with the Corona Sun and a little Pascal. I think you guys are gonna notice the theme a lot of this stuff, especially the things that I already own are Rapunzel. I'm gonna try to avoid the hat hair. See, I've already made a mess of things, but it's so cute. It's like little Pascal. And one of the things I like about it is the whole Pascal is there. And it's so cute. It's like Pascal sitting in your hat. I just, I love this. It's perfect for a tangled Disney bound. Um, it's nice and snuggly too for this time of year. Love, love, love this. It's from Box Lunch. Next thing on the list is this lantern bag. Oh, I love this. I uh, wore this with my, well, I've worn it with Disney Bounds to Disneyland. I've worn this, I wore this to D23 as my bag. One of my bags, one of my bags. I had a Eugene satchel as one of my bags. And then I had this as my other bag at D23 in my Rapunzel outfit. And it's from Danielle Nicole. <laughs> inside, inside is a cord. That does not come with your Danielle Nicole bag. In the back it has like a little Rapunzel on it. The front um, has this glitter Corona sun and the details on it are great. The same details that you'd find on the actual lanterns. It's really high, I'm like banging on it. It's high quality. I love it. I'll stop petting it now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should because this has become such a thing. Earlier this year, I had two sets of Disney princess sock advent calendars that I had not opened from two different Christmases. And so I just started doing a daily sock opening in January. And it's by far the most popular thing I've ever done on my Instagram stories. So this year I went a little nutso and I figured this should be on the gift guide too because there's so much fun. Disney Princess and Frozen 2 advent calendars. You open them up and there's socks inside. Obviously I've opened the socks. I have some on right now. Today I have on Snow White socks. They also make them in these little like surprise crackers. I've never opened a like cracker before. This should be fun. More tangled stuff. Next on the list, we have this little, doo -doo -doo. it's a wallet. But it's like a different art style for her. I hope you can still see it. I'm trying. And it's also Danielle Nicole. There's a bag version, like a backpack, a mini backpack version of this too that you guys might really like. And so you guys might want to check that out too. Maybe we'll pop a picture over here or over here. It feels so nice too. This is not like a cheapy wallet, very quality. And the little drawing of Pascal, why is he so cute? The next thing on the list is, you guys have seen this before if you've been here a while, the Sleeping Beauty makeup collection from Besame. If you guys wanna see a full review on this, I'll link to it in the description, or you can just search for it on the channel, but it's the Besame Sleeping Beauty makeup. It literally color matches from the movie, the different shades, so you can see like um, the eyelid color from Aurora, as well as from Maleficent. But there are also color changing lipsticks. It changes from blue to pink when you put it on your lips. There's Maleficent's lipstick, there's Aurora's lipstick, um, there's this beautiful Sleeping Beauty mirror. But if you guys wanna see that in more detail, I do have a, another video that's just entirely on that. But there's no way I could make a Disney gift guide and not include this on it because it's amazing. 
All the next stuff is from ColourPop. Yes, this one is their I See the Light Tangled collection. It's a little Rapunzel bundle. It's so cute. The packaging's beautiful. I'm obsessed. There's an entire video where I go through and test this out, review it all for you. So again, that will be linked in the description if you want to see this in detail, as well as these guys, these are pretty new from ColourPop. These are the Frozen 2 collection. We have the Elsa set and the Anna set. I'm not gonna go into detail into everything that's in here, but the palettes are beautiful. I was very, very, very impressed with these, especially for the money. There's a full review on both of these, and I'll link to that in the description as well if you wanna see swatches of literally every color. So the next thing on the list is a little pricey, but this is my Rapunzel crown. And people ask anytime they see it, where did you get that? Because it's so legit. It's legit. This is from Secret Honey. Secret Honey, I believe, is a Japanese brand, but they do things that are licensed with Disney. So this is Disney licensed. It even says on here, there's a copyright Disney and a little tiny Corona crown in there. I know it's way too small for you to see. This is by far the highest quality Rapunzel crown I have seen out there. It's so accurate, it's heavy. I've seen a lot of them, but this one is my favorite. The thing is with Secret Honey, you can't order directly from Secret Honey in the US. You have to buy them from a buyer. Um, so I will link in the description to the Instagrams of a couple of my favorite buyers that you could get them from. And if you want something to sit it on, people always ask me where I got this too. They make the Corona pillow. It's from the, the wedding short, the Tangled Ever After. Where the, where the rings sit, and it's so cute. It's the perfect thing to sit it on, like really, and then you just add a little Pascal, and like, really, what else could you possibly ask for? You've got hair on you, Rapunzel problems. Since we're just like really, really on the tangle kick here, I'm gonna bring out one more tangled thing. This, and you're gonna be like, it's just a frying pan. No, this is a rubber frying pan, so you can actually hit yourself in the head with it. It's honestly a little bit more expensive than a cast iron frying pan, but it's it's really light, so if you're into cosplay, if you're into costuming, um, if you just want something that's like fun. I really like it, so you guys might like it too. Literally everybody that sees it thinks that it's real, and then it always shocks people when you're like. It's pretty quality for, for rubber. Tracy's adorkable merch. Um, I know it's not official Disney, but if you're a fan of The Little Mermaid, you could definitely get all of your mermaid vibes out of your system wearing this, because I'm I, I love it. Everything Tracy does from adorkable, it's super cute. I haven't actually like officially announced that technically my merch site has been up for a while. And I was just like afraid <laughs> of announcing it because I didn't want to break anything while some of the kinks were still getting ironed out. I even had people order stuff from it before it was even done because I somehow found it. But if you really like um, stuff that's inspired by uh, Rapunzel, then I've got these pants that you guys have seen me wear a lot. They're not pants, they're technically leggings. There are other people who have leggings that are inspired by Rapunzel. I designed these before Wreck-It Ralph even came out. These are like my personal design that I made for myself and so many people wanted them that I've made them available so other people can have them too. I really like that there's a, like the Rapunzel pattern very, very discreetly in the purple so if you get up really close you can see that. They run so, so, so tiny. I'm like the tiniest, most microscopic human being. Make sure you order two sizes up if you want them because they run extremely small. Just so you know, any of the stuff that you get from me, it's all made once you order it. So it can take a while to get there. So if it's something that like absolutely has to be there before Christmas, um, I think right now it still would make it there before Christmas. If it absolutely has to be there before Christmas, don't, don't, don't count on this. <laughs> I'm like discouraging people from buying my own stuff because I'm, being a dork. So if any of you guys are into figurines or know somebody who likes figurines, 
I want to show you guys these. Um, they're so cute. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know if they're pronounced Q Posket, but that's how it's spelled, like Q Posket. P-O-S-K-E-T, and then like the letter Q before that. Um, they're, I believe, Japanese. What are Japanese making all the cute Disney stuff? They make so many Disney figurines of these. I happen to have the Anna and Elsa ones. They're not technically children's toys. So FTC, don't, don't attack me. In case you didn't notice, there's this little ring on my finger. This is from Hot Topic. I know they make an even fancier, prettier, more, more amazing version. Sorry, Hot Topic, but they're also a lot more expensive. <laughs> um, in the Enchanted Disney Fine Jewelry Collection, you guys know that I did a collab, a couple collabs with them. Um, I did Maleficent, and then they also provided the jewelry for me to wear to the Frozen 2 premiere. And that actually leads us very nicely into the rest of our list because they're things that I don't have. And one of the things on the list is the Enchanted Disney Fine Jewelry Collection. Tangled ring, it's so pretty. <laughs> There's this isn't exactly the crown, but it has like the corona sun and it's like kind of the shape of the crown. It's really creative. I think it's so cute and I really want it. <laughs> the next thing on this list is this little lanyard ID thing. If you are a Disney annual pass holder or even if you're just someone going to Disney and you want somewhere to hold your little card if you're not doing the magic band like they do at Disney World. Um, this, it's so cute, it's got the little ears. The next thing on the list are these Disney Minnie Mouse Primark heels. They're so cute. They're heels, but they also have mouse ears. So like all my Disney bounding friends, I can picture, you know who I can picture wearing these is Amber. Amber Arden, Amber Arden, if you don't already have a pair of these, I think you need them. Next thing I'm gonna put on the list is actually one that's not Disney Princess. Haha! -ha! Another thing from the Enchanted Disney Fine Jewelry Collection is the Maleficent Jewelry. It's so beautiful, it's so different. I love the black diamonds. They're incredible. And everything from the Enchanted Disney Fine Jewelry Collection is it's very high quality. The stuff from the Enchanted Disney Fine Jewelry Collection is stuff that's more like special occasion where you can't usually be as overt <laughs> about it. Something that's more formal. Anyways, this cutting board, it's a Mickey Mouse shaped cutting board. And then it has like this secret little drawer that comes out with knives in it and they all have little Mickey heads on them. So all my Diz nerds, I figured this, this belongs in your kitchen. Basically everything from the Ruthie Davis Frozen 2 shoe collection. It's so pretty, why is it all so pretty? I love things that are iridescent, and so the amount of iridescent stuff in here is just off the charts. It's kind of expensive, but it's so pretty. If you're looking to get like a splurgy gift on somebody um, and didn't want to go the jewelry route, these shoes, these shoes, these shoes. Yes, please. Anna's, Anna's lace up boots, they're so cute. There's $7.98, and I don't mean like $7.98, I mean like $798. Yeah, they're expensive, but they're so pretty. Oh, okay, the next thing, I've had this on my, my wish list since last year. Think Geek made these beautiful Disney Princess dinner sets, like the whole shebang. It comes with the whole set, and I'm like, <gasps> And they're all like a different color, but they also go together and they're like these pastel colors, you guys. Oh, okay, I just looked at my list and I forgot there's something that's on this list that we skipped that I that I have. I have this, but I have to show it to you. It's one of my favorite things. I'm so excited. This is hands down my favorite water bottle ever. Up the front, we have Rapunzel's lace up. And on the back, we have Rapunzel's braid. And like the detail on the bottom with the lace. Oh my God. So it's like literally her dress and then her hair. And the top says best day ever. Yes, yes it does. And this is the best water bottle ever. Next thing on the list, I just wanna show you more of like a variety of stuff that ColourPop has. ColourPop has so much Disney makeup. I just showed you some of it because that's stuff that I already have and I've reviewed and swatched and yada yada, but there's a lot more. So picture, 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 picture. 
all from ColourPop. Okay, the next thing I want to show you, I feel like I kind of need this. This is this Mickey Mouse pancake maker. I also would like a Mickey Mouse waffle maker. Pancakes or waffles, there are both. Oh, and by the way, while you're doing all of your, your cooking, you can... <laughs> I made an Elsa apron. It's so cute. It's from William Sonoma. I actually have an R2D2 one. I think it's technically a kid's apron, but FTC don't come after me. You can feel like Elsa while you're cooking. I just think that's hilarious. This is a throw blanket that looks like carpet from Aladdin. I just think this is great. Ah, okay. So I keep seeing this next thing here, this little hat from Box Lunch with the little tangled lantern on it. I keep seeing it at Box Lunch and I haven't purchased it. And I'm probably gonna wind up with it at some point, but you guys, from Box Lunch, it's got a little tangled lantern. And anything that goes with it, with the Rapunzel Disney Bound, you know, it should probably be on this list. Mm! Another thing that I saw at, at Box Lunch the other day, I go to Box Lunch way too much apparently. Uh, they have Dinglehopper makeup brushes. Another thing from Box Lunch. Okay, I've got a lot of things from Box Lunch here. A lounge fly bag. It's Mulan, but it's got a little cricket in it. It's so cute. You guys know I love Mulan. I ranked her number one in my ranking with Disney princesses. It's so cute. I just realized there were a couple other things that I have here that I meant to pull out on the things I have here list that I did not. So, we're aware. Okay. So this, you might be like, what does this have to do with Disney? This is a park hopper bag from Harvey's. Harvey's has a whole bunch of Disney bags. This one's like kind of a Disney bag. It's called the park hopper bag and it's like interchangeable. You can make it either like a shoulder bag or a mini backpack. And it's great for carrying things at the parks. I love this. This has actually become my go-to bag. But they're really, really quality. They're super durable. I don't know what this fabric is. Um, it kind of reminds me of seat belts. And they also have special little Christmas ones like this. It looks like a Mickey Mouse mint. And they have tons of stuff that's inspired by both Disney and Star Wars. Okay, the next thing on my list, uh, it's kind of a few things, but custom ears from Hannah Marie Magic. And I know the ones I'm pulling out are both Tangled themed again, but I get, so many questions about these ears. Every time I go to Disneyland, I get stopped constantly. Like, oh my goodness, where did you get those ears? Especially, I love these. I love them so much. They're really comfortable. They're super high quality. They're just like the details on are perfect and they're just so cute. But I'll definitely link down below to all of Hannah Marie Magic stuff because she has so many cute Disney ears. I have one more set of items for you guys that's in the jewelry vein. Basically everything from Rock Love and especially their Frozen 2 collection. One of my absolute favorites is they have this little ring and it looks like Bruni and he's crawling on your finger. And eventually I am going to need to acquire that because that is the cutest thing ever. They need a version of Pascal like that. Definitely go tear out everything from Rock Love as well. The next thing is from Attractioneering Trading Company and look, it's the scream canisters from Monsters Inc. Oh my, it's a bag. It's just genius. It's absolutely genius. So cute. I definitely have this on my wish list because I think it's so clever. The second to last thing on the list is also something that I have, but I'm not gonna go grab it because it's up really high and I don't know if I can reach it, but it's the Disney Princess Cookbook. Um, <laughs> but it has a whole bunch of different recipes inspired by Disney princesses. I made from apples. Oh, which actually brings me to the last one. This is something I just got so excited about. It's a Batu cookbook full of all the stuff at Galaxy's Edge. One of the things that most impressed me about Galaxy's Edge is the food is so good. It's my, some of my favorite food at the parks. Now all the recipes, you can do them like in your home. I saw this at Box Lunch the other day. I think they also sell them on Amazon, at Hot Topic, lots of other places. So that's my little bonus one for you, especially since it's from the Disney parks. I feel like we can squish it in this Disney gift guide, even though I usually do things Disney and Star Wars separately. All right, so you've made it to the end, so now you're gonna find out how to do the giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway of my leggings. So if you want to win a pair of my Rapunzel-inspired leggings, all you have to do is comment down below 
which of the items on this list was your favorite. I will be randomly selecting someone and if you want a bonus entry, I'll also throw in people who comment what their favorite item was from this list on the Noel picture on my Instagram. Oh, I know there was a lot of items. There was like so many more that I could have included. Um, but if you wanna see more content like this, we do lifestyle, beauty, and fashion videos all with a magical twist, which really means a lot of Disney stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you want more of that and ring the little bell if you want those to come right to you. We put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so there's lots of new content headed your way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy life day, happy all the, all the days. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. It's your Bamate tea. Ho ho! Itchy! I don't know if you can, I, I, my eyebrows are visible or not, whatever. There's things you don't discuss at work or at the library, I guess. Whoa! Oh no, what was that? Oh no, I almost kicked over the yerba mate tea. Need to clean this. See, my aesthetic I realized is actually like Bespin Cloud City, but with pops of pastel and like holographic stuff. That's that's my aesthetic. And that was the messiest attempt at drinking out of a water bottle ever. How did I possibly get that much water in my face? Now you can make Disney magic happen in your own breakfast kitchen. In your own breakfast kitchen? I don't know what a breakfast kitchen is as opposed to any other kitchen. Yeah.